Now we're going to look at uh, computing um, some exponential functions. So let's start with a, a pretty basic one. Let's uh, calculate, you know, pull out your calculator, see if you can calculate, um, let's see, how about 1.234 raised to the, uh, let's see, 2.73 power. Okay, so how do you do that? If you've never done that before, uh, well, um, I think probably most calculators would work this way. You would punch in 1.234, and then there's a, there's a key which will either look like y to the x power, or it might look like a caret key. This is called the caret key, the little upside down angle thing. And so, um, some graphing calculators use these, and I think most scientific calculators have a y to the x button. I've seen x to the y also. So look for this, this type of, one of these types of buttons on your calculator. Punch that button, and, um, and then punch in the exponent, 2.73. So you, you hit it in that order. You punch in the base, and then the function, and then the exponent key. Hit equal. So let's see what we get here. And, um, all right, 1.234 raised to the 2.73 is... Now I get uh, approximately 1.775376168882, and it goes on from there, I'm sure. That's uh, going to be an irrational number, so there's going to be no pattern to it. It's just going to go on forever and ever. Uh, you know, I'm, I would ask you to round it off, and, and I like to use like three decimal places. So in this case, if we round it off to three decimal places, then you look at the immediate number after where, you, where the cutoff is, and that happens to be a three. So if it's four or less, we just cut it off. We don't round up, we just cut it off. And so this is approximately 1.775, this, this number. All right, let's, uh, let's try another one that's uh, you know, slightly more challenging. And because um, I want to get a negative exponent here. So how about, uh, let's see, 0 0.00742, and I want to raise it to the negative um, 4.96 power, okay, just making up numbers. Now, we, we could change that to positive exponent. It would be 1 divided by this number raised to the positive power, but we can just enter that in the calculator. Now, here it gets a little, little trickier. Um, on my calculator, this is how I would do it. I would uh, you know, type in the base and hit the exponent key, which is either y to the x or the caret key, one or the other. And then um, I would punch in... Um, I think to be safe, I would put left parentheses. That's probably not necessary, but left parentheses, and then I hit the plus minus key, and then 4.96, close the parentheses, and then hit equal. Now, on some calculators, it would look like this. Instead, you have to punch in 4.96. I want this to look like a parentheses. You would punch in 4.96 and then change the sign to a negative. So you're just going to have to experiment and learn what kind of calculator you have. Uh, usually the, the older or less sophisticated calculators do it in this order and, and the more sophisticated, newer, more expensive or graphing calculators, you put the negative followed by the number. But uh, whatever the case, you know, learn what kind of calculator you have. All right, so we should get 0 0.0742 raised to the parentheses, negative 4.96, close parentheses, and I get uh, it's approximately 40,000, now 400,679, okay? Now, I, I rounded that off to a whole number. Why? Because I have six significant places here, six significant digits, 
And so, you know, if I want to throw in some decimal places, it's not going to matter. Because um, this is a very large number. So, uh, but, you know, you could round it off to so many decimal places. So, anyway, that was a pretty large number, 400,679. I, I, I like to put the little wavy equals there so that the reader knows that this is, this is an approximation. It's not an exact answer. All right. So, anyway. Be, be able to, to do that, and then the rest of the problems won't be so bad. All right, so let me, uh, let me work a couple other examples here. And, and uh, a compound interest problem, for example. Now, let's see. Suppose you invest money in a certificate of deposit in a bank, a CD. And I don't know what the interest of those things are paying these days, but suppose that the annual interest rate is, uh, I'll just throw out a number, 4.25%. Uh, 4.25% compounded monthly. All right, and suppose that you invest $1,000 in the CD, and you're committed to invest it for 18 months. All right, now, I, I don't expect you to, you know, know the formula for figuring out what it's going to be worth after 18 months. But let me give you the formula. The amount that's going to be worth after T months is going to be the principal $1,000 times parentheses 1 plus, now I've got the percent rate, the annual percent rate in decimal form is 0 0.0425, okay, let me fix that, over 12 because it's being compounded monthly or 12 times per year, per year. so this is, this is the uh, annual percent rate 12 times per year, and one actually symbolizes the um, what's there to begin with, but it's part of the calculation. And then up here I've got 18 months. All right, so that's that's the calculation, and it is an exponential function, isn't it? It's uh, here's the base of the exponent, this calculation, raised to that power times a thousand dollars. So. Uh, you know, I, I would be inclined to do this. Now, you can punch all this in one, one sweeping motion, okay, if you're, if you're confident. Um, but I would probably put this in parentheses. Parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0425 divided by 12. Close parentheses. Uh, you can even hit equal at that point if you wanted to. And I did hit equal, so I got 1.003541 and so on and so forth. So it's one, around 1.0035. But I kept all the decimal places here in my calculator because I want full accuracy. So now I'm going to hit the Y to the X key or the exponent key and uh, 18 and hit equal. And, and what it did, it, it took this and called in my calculator, since I had hit, had hit equal, when I hit... The exponent key, it, it dragged that up and said that's the answer raised to the 18th power. And I hit equal again. So I get 1.0657 and, and change. So 1.0657. Um, now if I multiply that times 1,000 and hit equal one more time, I get uh, $1,065.71. This time it rounds up to 71 cents, so it would be natural to go to two decimals on a dollar amount because you have dollars and cents. So that's um, that's what you're going to be, you know, this is going to be worth after 18 months. You'll have earned 60, almost $66 on that in interest. Okay, so that's, uh, this is kind of a, you know, a little more of a complicated calculation, but you should try that on your calculator and uh, see if you can... You can get this. And again, you can do this in steps. For example, do this calculation inside the parentheses, hit equal, 
Raise it to the 18th power, hit equal, multiply by 1,000, hit equal. But keep all the decimal places on your calculator when you do this, and you'll get the best accuracy. All right. Well, um, there's, there's a number of these that, uh, that show up, and uh, I think your textbook has some, some examples of various kinds of functions um, where you can do these calculations. So uh, my advice, again, is uh, do it piecemeal in pieces. And uh, if, if you're not too confident of your, of your scientific calculator skills, um, some of you will have calculators that, that have the calculation on the screen printed before you hit equal. And that's a real advantage because that allows you to, to proofread what you've typed in before you hit equal. Others of you won't have that, you'll just have to hope for the best and be very careful. So, um, alright, is there anything else I should talk about here? Uh, my textbook has a mortgage payment calculation and uh, which I've used before. I use that monthly. I've got a spreadsheet and I keep track of what I owe on my house. And um, so, um, and I, I calculated the formula that's in the book from scratch. And so let's see, the mortgage payment calculation. So um, let me encourage you to, to look at that example because it's, it's pretty complicated, but it's a good workout on, uh, on calculator skills.